Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mm. <laughs> Kiwi has really shown her true colors and what she's like. She is wonderful. I'm glad that we ended up with her, but she always has to be here, like here on me. Ah. <laughs> no, you can't go on my desk. Okay, down you go. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Okay, for today's video, we're going to be getting into crochet again. I realized that a lot of you really and truly loved my learn to crochet video. So I've decided to pull out the crochet hooks again and do some projects with the bargain bead box, October's bargain bead box, by the way. So we're going to be doing some stuff with October's bargain bead box. Very, very easy. The earrings that we're going to do today took me uh, less time than it took how do i say that <laughs> it took me more time to drink my cup of coffee than it did to make the earrings i actually made them in the morning took me about five to ten minutes and i wore them out for the day and i love them they're so beautiful before we begin please like the video if you did like the video click on that subscribe button if you like the content here and hit that notification bell you will be notified of up coming videos. I believe I'm going to be having a few extra coming out in the next couple of weeks because I've been going crazy with designing. It's been wonderful. This cool weather has really brought out the designer in me. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get into this video. Even before I received the October bargain bead box. I've been thinking about crochet again. One thing I really do like to do and have always liked to do is crochet with wire. This is the first pair that I made with that box. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what the name of the box is. I don't have any information. Mine didn't come with, you know, the paper that you usually get with all the info on it. Nothing. <laughs> So October's Bargain Bead Box, don't know what the name of it is. If you guys know what the name of it is, please leave it down below in the comment section. I would love to know. So we're going to make a variation of this earring today. So I'm going to do the same thing I did here for the earrings that I'm going to make. So you can always add um, these leaves because they gave me two uh, sets of these leaves in my box. For the first set, I decided I was going to make a pair of earrings and I think they turned out really beautiful and really says fall, of course, with the leaves and the colors. So we're going to do this, but we're going to do it with a different set of findings from that same box. So I'm going to move these aside here. And we're going to use these today. These are leaf detail chandeliers. These are 22 by 17 millimeter, two pieces, and they are number 16 on your list. If you have the list, <laughs> that's what they look like here. So we're going to use these today for the earrings. And it is going to work out the same way as what I did with the leaves there. So don't worry about it. It's going to work out the same. We're going to use the uh, nickel-free brass ear wires. These ones don't have a number for being on your list, but that's the, what they look like there. We're going to be using the four millimeter faceted agate round beads. These are number five on your list. And we're going to be using the, the 13 by 7 millimeter pine cone charms. I love these things. I think they're so beautiful. These are number 12 on your list. So we're going to be using those today. I am going to be using 26 gauge wire. This wire is from Parawire. Okay, and it is olive green. I've run out of my antique copper. I do have some antique bronze, so we could do that. But I think this olive green, you can't really see the color, but it's pretty close to the antique bronze. And I thought I wanted to use it today. It goes really, really well with the findings in this box. For this pattern, you're gonna need to thread on six of those faceted beads. So just thread on six. That's what I added to this pattern here. Onto the 26 gauge. Now you can use 28 gauge if you're a little more comfortable with that instead, but um, 26 gauge works fine as well. So this crochet hook actually shows three different sizes. So you have a six or the G or the 4.00. However, your crochet hooks are sized, that's, a num that's what they're gonna be, the six, the G, or the 4.00. We're gonna fold that wire over to make a loop like that. Make sure you leave yourself at least 
you know, a bit a bit of a tail here so that you have something to hold on to. Just make that loop, press those wires together with my fingernails. Bring the short side up like that. And I'm going to do one loop around this main loop here. And then go through this space here to close that off and make a knot. And when you pull it, that's about the size you should have there. If it's a little bigger, don't worry about it. If it's a little bit smaller, also don't worry about it. That's just how mine decided to turn out with this one. Okay, so now I've got that threaded on there and I'm gonna make four single crochets. So a single crochet is when you pull, take your crochet hook, wrap it around your wire and then just pull it through that loop to create another loop. So that's a single crochet. I'm going to do four of those. And the trick to crocheting with wires to go slow. You don't want to go too fast. You want to keep everything as symmetrical as you can. See how they're all the same size there or pretty much the same size. One more time. I'm going to pull this here a little bit. One more time. Pull that through and you've got four crochet hooks or <laughs> four crochet hooks four single crochets now i'm going to pull down one of my beads so just take it from the back there and pull it all the way down so it sits right there kind of hold it in place like that and now i am going to add one more single crochet and then i'm going to miss this single crochet and go to the next single crochet. So right there, second one in and make one more single crochet like that. Then pull your bead down and without making a single crochet, go in the next single crochet on your main line. So right there. Pull that through so you have two loops on your hook and then wrap that around the wire again and pull it through both those and that is your second single crochet. I'm going to pull the wire one more time down from the back. As you've noticed I am leaving the wire on the spool and I'm going to go down and grab this one now, the last single crochet and I'm going to put my hook through it, pull through one loop. You'll have two on there. And then pull that wire around the hook again and pull it through both those loops. And this is what you should have. Now we're going to add one single crochet and then turn it around. Turn your work around so that it's facing the left again. And if you're uh, left-handed it should be facing the right. Now we're going to pull down one bead. should still have three on there. Just take your time and go through the single crochet that's just right there. So maneuver it a little bit there and make your single crochet. There you go. Now we're going to add one more bead. Should have two left. And you're going to take your hook, go through the next single crochet, grab that wire, pull it through. You should have two loops on your hook and then grab that wire again and pull those that through the two loops and then we're going to do that one more time so you should have one bead left on your spool on your wire and we're going to go through that last 
loop right there. Pull it through that loop. You have two loops on your hook. Grab it again and then pull it through both. And there we have our design. It's done. Now I'm just going to pull my wire. So I have about a two to two and a half inch tail. You probably don't need quite that much, but for now, just pull that much. Just makes it a little bit easier to play with. Cut it off. Now we're done with the wire. And this is going to be kind of what it looks like here. And because this is wire, you can play around with it a little bit. I am going to redefine this design, pull the wire, push the wire, press it where I want it to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of wire and I'm going to go through this loop here. There should be three loops at the bottom there. And I'm going to pull that wire through this loop here to pull those three wires together like that. And that way it is a little more centered for you to add your finding. And I want you to add this wire to this side here where the one loop is at the top. So I'm going to take a round nose pair of pliers and I'm just going to bend this wire like that. I'm going to thread this chandelier charm on there. Kind of press it like that. Now you're going to have to hold, and this is where it gets a little bit funky, you're going to have to hold the top part that we just crocheted with your two fingers, and then you're going to have to also hold the chandelier in place because you're going to want to take that wire and start making loops around the main wire just above just above the crocheted part. And then what I'm going to do is go go I'm going to do that twice. And as you can see, it's kind of sitting to one side. Okay, so now we're going to take this wire and we're going to go through that loop again, the end loop here. I'm going to go through there. Use your pliers if you need to. Pull it. Sometimes it works better that way. Pull it tight. And you're going to go through the top loop of the charm. Use your pliers if you need to. And pull it tight. Now, we're going to go the opposite direction and pull this wire around to create loops around those wires and finish it off. And at this point, you can put as many of those loops as you want. I'm going to do only three. Then I'm going to trim off that end piece as close as I can. And then take your pliers and press it in so that there's no sharp ends for this earring. Not that it's going to touch anybody, but... And then I'm going to take those two wires that are on there and press them also together. And do this from the back as well. And there you have the first part of this earring done. Now at the top here, we're going to want to create a loop. So I'm just going to check and see where they are. There's one. There's two. And I am going to press this one around to create the third one. There. Just press that down. And with your round nose pliers, you want to just join 
those front loops like that. So whichever loops you can find that work, um, because it's wire, it's very easy to manipulate and choose the loops that you want. So just do your best and find those loops as you can. This is your end piece, don't worry about that. It's going to be in your way a little bit. There. So I'm just going to press those loops. I'm going to pull that edge piece. I'm going to pull this end piece down. I want it out of my way. So this loop is going to be used for the ear wire. I'm going to open it up. And this chandelier link or chandelier charm has a backing. So you want to make sure that you make sure you put your ear wire to the front. Press it in a little. Then you just want to get rid of this end piece. So I am going to just thread it through one of these loops. Doesn't matter which one, because we're only going to just hide it away. You can do that twice if you want. You really don't have to. I'm only going to do it once. It will not come apart. And I'm going to press that in. And now if you have this extra little bulky section here like I do, it's very easy to just bend it away. So I'm going to bend it away because it is wire and it's very easy to get rid of. So we're just going to bend it down and into our crocheted wire. So it becomes part of the whole deal. We're going to add three of the uh, pine cone charms to our earring. There is the perfect fall inspired earring and if I had been filming this probably would have taken me probably about five to ten minutes. There we go and the second earring I haven't had it done when I made this video so I just finished making it to finish the set and honestly it took me uh, just a little under five minutes. So these guys are they take no time to make at all they look stunning. Definitely a fall inspired pair of earrings with the October Bargain Bead Box. It was nice to pull my crochet hook again. I had forgotten how fun crocheting was. <laughs> so we're going to be doing some more crochet with this box. But I just wanted to show you how to make these beautiful fast earrings. And I made these this morning and already wore them out. I really hope you tried these. They were a lot of fun and I love them. Beautiful. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've brought back my long content on YouTube to make the videos a little bit shorter. It seems like you guys would prefer a little bit shorter videos instead of the really long ones. I hope that works for you. If you guys are enjoying it that way, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know if it is working better for you the, the way that I'm doing it now. All right, you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.